Scotch broom, or Cytesis scoparius, is a plant that grows along the Pacific Northwest coast. It is an invasive species. An invasive species is a plant that has been introduced to the environment on purpose or by accident and has damaged a lot of that environment. Some of the native plants that have been affected by scotch broom are western yarrow, seashore lupin, and beach carrots. Scotch broom is a very invasive plant. It was introduced to Vancouver Island by Captain Walter Calhoun in 1850 from seeds he picked up in Hawaii. Scotch broom thrives in low elevation areas, meadows, near roads, thickets, and open forests. Even though scotch broom is very invasive, it can be very useful. Its seeds can be a substitute for coffee, and the flowers can be used for wine. Even though scotch broom is somewhat useful to people, it can also be very harmful. If the plants are eaten, it may depress the heart and nervous system. Children can be poisoned if they consume the pods or seeds, so it is very important to be able to identify scotch broom. Don't, don't, don't do it. Plant identification. Scotch broom leaves come in groups of three. They are oval shaped like miniature maple leaves. Scotch broom plants have more stalks towards the bottom, and although they may look weak, they are actually quite strong. The stalks are about the width of your pointer finger, but get thicker as the plant matures. Scotch broom has one big tap root with smaller roots extending from the tap root. The flowers of scotch broom are about two centimeters long and bright yellow, sometimes with a purple tinge. The seeds of scotch broom start out as pods and they look like little sugar peas. To spread their seeds, the two sides of the pod spiral away from each other, and the seeds catapult out. When scotch broom is little, it is fatter and grows wider. A medium-sized plant has a bigger stalk at the bottom with more leaf stems towards the top. A big scotch broom looks like a small tree. Because scotch broom is an invasive species, it is important that after you identify it, you remove the plant. There are three easy ways to remove scotch broom. For small plants, you can use your hands. First, put on work gloves. Find a small plant, grab the bottom of the root and pull. Shake off the excess dirt. Fill in the hole with dirt. For medium-sized plants, you should use clippers. Make sure you have adult supervision before you start. Find a plant that is about waist high with a stalk as wide as your thumb. Cut close to the ground as possible. For the largest plants, you may need to use an uprooter. First, put the clamp around the base. Push down on the lever to pull up the plant. Unclamp the um, uprooter plant. Pull the plant out of the ground by hand. In this video, you learned how to identify scotch broom, how it got to the Pacific Northwest coast, and how to eliminate it in three different ways. We control invasive species because they don't allow native plants to grow and survive. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned something new.